Wombat's basically on the Cumberland Plain are from Malaysia down to Camden. There are very small numbers up near Mulgawa. And this is the only reserve system on the Cumberland Plain that wombats are found. Um, initial surveys showed 163 wombat warrens. Those 163 warrens are both active and inactive. And we found during the survey periods with the cameras that the wombats shift uh, warrens and reactivate warrens as they go along. We think the population on the southeastern side of the river is between 40 and 60 animals. We found mange in the population, uh, first started seeing signs, or I first noticed it in 2011. From there we started to survey the wombat population A to see how many warrens that we had, and we were actually surprised with the amount of warrens that we actually located on park. We then put cameras out to look at the health of the population, and there possibly was um, a small percentage of animals that we found with mange that we saw but in the last lot of photographs that we've got back from the cameras, we're actually finding an increase in the numbers with mange. Mange can be transmitted from wombat to wombat. It's thought that it may have been brought in by foxes and the mites have got off the foxes and into the wombat burrows and then got onto the wombats themselves. The mange mite um, actually burrows under the skin, um, causes the animal to itch, they lose their hair, they get lesions. Uh, they get crusty around the ears and around the eyes. They start coming out during the day. They lose their hair. Uh, they lose condition. And it's a very slow, painful way for the animal to die. So what it is, is two milk bottle tops inserted in an ice cream lid. You insert the milk bottle tops into the ice cream lid or the core fluid, which is um, cut to the size or around the size of a four litre ice cream can lid. That's hung off a wire frame with cable ties. The burrow flap is then put onto the wombat warren, either inserted into the bank up on top or into the ground below. Wombat walks in and out of the warren, flips the ice cream lid, the treatment in the milk bottle tops goes onto the wombat. We're using paint in one side of one ice cream lid because we want to mark our wombats to um, see if the treatment is working to see if they're using the burrow flaps. With the treatment we're treating every week for eight weeks and then for a month we're treating fortnightly and then from there on we treat monthly for three months. So we're trying to break the cycle of the mange mite on the animal. When we're setting the cameras up we're trying to get them as close um, to be seeing the entire burrow so that we're able to not only check the condition of the wombats coming in and out, but ensuring that the flaps, or well, the burrow flaps that we've made up are actually working properly. So what we're hoping to show from the pilot program is that um, in treating the wombats, we get an increase in the health of the wombats. We've got Miramitaga Aboriginal Organisation are coming out, and we've also got uh, a lot of very helpful volunteers who have put in many hours in the program. They've been absolutely fantastic. Yeah, we've got mange. It? It's done. It looks like it's got a pouch young. Has it? it? Looks like it. The end game is that we get an increase in the wombat health here in Bent's Basin. We're hoping to show that it works. Well, they're Mother Nature's bulldozers. Um, they're highly intelligent. They've got the largest um, brain size of marsupials, so I've been told. Uh, they're cute, um, but they also do a lot of good for the environment. <laughs>